Hi there, I'm Dalton Potter of the Potter Violin Company. I'm here to show you how they put purfling in a violin top. The purfling in a violin is really a sandwich of three pieces of wood. Uh, generally it's a dark piece on the outside and then a light piece and then another dark piece. So it's a sandwich. And uh, they've been making purfling in violins uh, since the 1500s, so this is not a new technology, but basically what they do is they cut very, very thin pieces of wood, layer them together, and then cut them into strips like this. Those strips can then be bent using an iron. We'll show that to you in just a moment. Uh, just like with uh, cambering a bow or with making the ribs on a violin, if you heat the wood and you hold it still while it's cooling, it basically will retain the shape that you've bent into it with the iron. So here you see a, vi a viola top where I've already installed the purfling and uh, you have to cut a very narrow channel using a tool that has two little blades like this. And then that channel is cleaned out with a little pointy purfling tool like this. And uh, what happens is after you've cut the lines, you use this to dig it out and then the purfling is bent and installed with glue and you do have to cut it very carefully, but uh, we have a top here that doesn't have purfling and one that does. So we're gonna show you how that, how that goes step by step. As you can see, there's two very sharp little blades and the finger that rides around the outside. And all we're doing is making marks very, very gently so we can see where we have to cut the channel. And uh, the reason why you see it jumping like that is that, as I said before, the wood that's light colored is very soft and the wood that's dark colored is very hard. So this is sort of, sort of chattering as it goes over it, but they're very sharp and they'll cut that, those marks in there. So I know how to come through with my purfling chisel and take out a piece one little piece at a time, just a little bit, just like that. It doesn't take much, and we're going to take a little bit out, and a little bit more out, and pretty soon we'll have a channel deep enough that we can just lie that purfling right down in there like that. I'm Dalton Potter, and that's how you put purfling in a violin top.